The founder of Marco's Pizza, Pat Giamarco, moved from Italy to the U.S. and grew up working in his family's pizzeria. Today, Marco's Pizza continues that heritage of dough made fresh every day in every store. Marco's dough, sauce, and blended cheeses are the foundation for robust meats and the freshest vegetables. Marco's Pizza, authentic Italian freshness you can taste. Exponentially fast. It's the stores, the cleanliness. We focus on the future. That's the direction we're moving. You have the ability to get in on the ground level. And pizza's is fun. It took many years to develop this recipe and said we don't want to even mess with it. Product is the best in the industry. So you're the best pizza around. We were blown away by the product. Making sure that it's perfect every single time it comes out of that oven. For me, it was all about the pizza. I think it's a superior product. It's superior to anything else I've ever tried. It's a phenomenal pizza. PSI. Product, service, and image is what the pizza business is all about. Product, service, and image is what builds this brand. We project an image that no one else can touch. Marco's Pizza has a beautiful look. The employee, they're looking good. Their hat's on straight. The authentic look of our stores. Keeping the dining room clean. Making sure that the customers were happy. It's more about the people that project that image, that provide that world-class service, that try to match that phenomenal pizza. You have to have that passion for all three of those things. That's what product, service, and image means to me. Yeah, well, we want the pizza to taste good. Since Marco's Pizza is teaming up with movie rental chain Family Video in a unique partnership, and they plan to open Marco's outlets in as many as 350 locations. And this is a more than $100 million partnership between the two companies. Essentially, people will be able to go and rent a movie, pick up a pizza, all under the same roof. Why did it take you guys so long to think of this wonderful thing? <laughs> Marco's Pizza uh, is looking to hire approximately 1,200 to 1,300 people. Marco's Pizza. Pizza gave more than $14,000 to various charities in the community. Marco's Pizza is hoping to become the fourth largest pizza chain with an additional 104 stores. Pat created a great product, a phenomenal product, and once people try the pizza, there's a 72% chance that they'll come back and buy it again. That's a growing company. This is one of the fastest growing companies in the U.S. is growing like a rocket. What we have at Marco's is superior product. So, I mean, you've got to love the product. Image is great. But we can always put out a perfect pizza. Our customers come back time and time again. When you taste Marco's pizza, you'll understand why you're going to have a passion for that product. So I'm all in with Marco's pizza.
the automobile. American ingenuity at its best. We're proud of what we make here, except pizza. We'll give that one to the Italians. Luckily, there's Marco's Pizza, with an Italian-born founder who demands fresh cheese that's never frozen. It's real Italian pizza, made right here in America. Marco's Authentic Italian Pizza. The founder of Marco's Pizza, Pat Giammarco, moved from Italy to the U.S. and grew up working in his family's pizzeria. Today, Marco's Pizza continues that heritage of dough made fresh every day in every store. Marco's dough, sauce, and blended cheeses are the foundation for robust meats and the freshest vegetables. Marco's Pizza, authentic Italian freshness you can taste. I am living every double's dream. You're looking at the next Marco's pizza crust. I got the right ingredients. I'm fresh, made by hand today. So let's give the people what they want. But first, my massage. Ooh, that's nice. Real nice. Our ingredients speak for themselves. Marco's authentic Italian pizza. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies come from the Midwest. The founder of Marco's Pizza is also from the Midwest. Of Italy. Marco's Pizza, made with sauce from our founder's recipe. A special blend of three cheeses. And dough made on-site daily. Marco's, authentic Italian pizza. Get a large pepperoni magnifico pizza with two types of pepperoni for just $9.99. That's $9.99. Order online or call Marco's today. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies are named Tom, Frank, and John. But Marco's Pizza has a founder named Pasquale, who was actually born in Italy. Marco's Pizza, made with sauce from our founder's recipe, a special blend of three cheeses, and dough made on-site daily. Marco's, authentic Italian pizza. Get the Marco's Big Square Deal, 16 slices with Old World Pepperoni for $6.99. That's $6.99. Order online or call Marco's today. The founders of America's three biggest pizza companies might have an Italian car, an Italian suit, or an Italian sofa. But the founder of Marco's Pizza has an Italian birth certificate. Marco's Pizza, made with sauce from our founder's recipe, a special blend of three cheeses, and dough made on-site daily. Marco's, authentic Italian pizza. Get a large pepperoni magnifico pizza with two types of pepperoni for just $9.99. That's $9.99. Order online or call Marco's today.
Hello, I'm investigative reporter Mike Polk. Pizza chains across the nation are changing the way they make pizza because their pizza was bad. But one company refuses to change the way it's been making pizza all these years just because it happens to be delicious. Marco's Pizza. I'm here at their corporate headquarters to find out what makes them so special that they don't think they have to change with everyone else. Let's find out. I made it inside the headquarters. Really wasn't hard. I just came in the door. Most pizza chains use frozen cheese like this. Marco's doesn't. I'm going to go find out why they think they're so special. Jack Buterak, president, Marco's Pizza. Uh, your cheese is never frozen. That's correct. And it's a three cheese blend, from what I understand. And it's fantastic. I'll just say that. Why do you do that? Well, that's a product that Pat Marco created, our founder. And uh, he created three types of cheese to, uh, to achieve the bake that he wanted and the flavor he wanted. And uh, it works, and I'm not changing it. I mean, I guess we're just going to have to agree to disagree. Thank you for your time. Tomato paste. It's cheap, it's thick, and it's most chains pizza sauces. But not Marco's. Why? Your tomatoes go from vine to sauce in about six hours. Now, your competitors are using this. First, for their sauce. <laughs> That's a big can of tomato paste. Okay. Tell me why you guys can't do that. Because we don't need to. We want a fresh product. It's the same product that Pat Giamarco started with uh, from Italy. We just don't need to change that. What is wrong with paste? Everybody loves paste. Kids, when they're crafting in kindergarten, they eat it. It's everybody loves it. The frozen dough ball. Some pizza chains use it to save money. Marco's doesn't. Why not? You are affectionately referred to around the office as Dr. No because of your unwillingness to compromise on the quality of your pizza. They do call you Dr. No, don't they? No. I see what you did there. Would you start using more affordable frozen cheese for your pizza? No. Would you give up this silly and exhausting practice of making the dough fresh every single day? No. How about the sauce? No. Is there anything that you say yes to? Yes, leave. I'll see myself out. Well, these guys are no help at all. Why won't they cut corners? I knew who I'm going to ask. The founder himself, Pat Giamarco. Pat, founder, master, creator of Marco's Pizza. Why won't you change your recipe? Um, it took many years to develop this recipe and constantly tweaking it and tweaking it year after year that we reach something so good that we don't want to even mess with that anymore. Okay. Now your name is Giamarco. It's a very, very ethnic name. I'm assuming you're Canadian. I was born in Italy and I came here with my folks when I was about 10 years old and uh, from the Naples region of Italy. We grew up eating and making pizzas uh, since I was a little kid. We're trying to get to the bottom of something here. Uh, a lot of the other franchises are changing the way that they make pizza because the old way was not good at all. Now, you guys do it the right way, but shouldn't you change just for no reason? We have changed some things in the company, but never the product. What are some things that people should change? You should change the batteries in your smoke detector. Change your underwear, change the tire if it's flat. Well, we don't change much, but I, you know, here, I, here's a good example. I got a couple of them here. I mean, the pizza box. You're always talking about change. We told everybody why it's special here in the back. You changed the box. And you changed the box to tell people that you did not change anything in the box. You guys are kind of coming off like show-offs. I'll say it. So let me get this straight. You're happy with your delicious quality product just as it is? We want to make a pizza that's like authentic Italian pizza. Like, like they used to hundreds of years ago in Italy. And just fresh dough, great sauce, great cheeses and just put it all together and bake it just right so it's mm, perfect. Well, there you have it. My investigation has uncovered that Marcos intends to do nothing to change the way they've been making their pizza for the past 30 years. So all you have to look forward to is the same great pizza for the next 30 years. This is Mike Polk, live from Marcos headquarters in Toledo, Ohio. Disappointed.
founder of Marco's Pizza, Pasquale Pat Giamarco, moved from Italy to the U.S. and grew up working in his family's pizzeria. He opened the first Marco's Pizzeria over 30 years ago. Today, Marco's Pizza continues that heritage of providing authentic Italian pizza made with only the freshest ingredients. Marco's knows the best pizza starts with a delicious crust. They make the dough fresh from scratch every day in every store. Marco's uses only fresh cheese, not just mozzarella, but a special blend of three cheeses for an authentic taste. Marco's Pizza Sauce? The recipe is a family secret made from vine-ripened tomatoes and a combination of spices blended at every store. Marco's dough, sauce, and blended cheeses are the foundation for hearty portions of robust meats and vegetables sliced fresh every day. Marco's Pizza. Authentic Italian freshness you can taste. chains across the world are changing their recipes to try to make their pizza better. But one place is not changing, Marco's Pizza. I'm here at their corporate headquarters to find out what makes them so special that they don't think they have to change with everyone else. Let's find out. So let me get this straight. You're happy with your delicious quality product just as it is? It took many years to develop this recipe and constantly tweaking it and tweaking it year after year that we reach something so good that we don't want to even mess with it anymore. Would you change the sauce? No, I'm not changing it. What if you change the dough? We're not going to change it. They do call you Dr. No, don't they? No. I see what you did there. Would you start using more affordable frozen cheese for your pizza? No. Would you give up this silly and exhausting practice of making the dough fresh every single day? No. How about the sauce? No. Is there anything that you say yes to? Yes. Leave. I'll see myself out. Come on, guys. Isn't there anything you can change? Don't you believe in change? I mean, the pizza box. You're always talking about change. We told everybody why it's special here in the back. You changed the box. And you changed the box to tell people that you did not change anything in the box. Which is pointless. You should change the batteries in your smoke detector. Change your underwear, change the tire if it's flat. But not the pizza. If our product wasn't so good, I would change it too. We love our recipe. We love our pizza the way it is. But you guys are kind of coming off like show-offs. Well, there you have it. My investigation has uncovered that Marcos intends to do nothing to change the way they've been making their pizza for the past 30 years. So all you have to look forward to is the same great pizza for the next 30 years. The steady, unrelenting beat of America's heart. It's deeply rooted in our heritage, unlike pizza. Now that is totally Italian. Luckily, there's Marco's Pizza, with an Italian-born founder who insists on dough made from scratch every day, because that's the Italian way. Marco's Authentic Italian Pizza. Every day, it's fresh cheese, never frozen. Real Italian pizza. There are better lunch options, people. I'll trade you for something in your book bag. Open bag of uh, 
that sun chip. Yeah, absolutely. It's about, uh, three weeks old. Let me have this. Get rid of this. Have that instead. You need food. Marco's Pizza. Oh, you had, that used to be pizza, huh? <laughs> Look at that. What is that pretending to be? You don't need this anymore. Come on. What was this? Don't you feel kind of bad you were even eating this? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Don't you wish you would have picked that in the first place? Well, that's what I order at our house all the time. Do you really? You get that? Uh -huh. Good. Nice. That wasn't. The, I didn't even make him say that. I had a cheeseburger. You had a cheeseburger. Are you ashamed of yourself a little bit now? No, not at all. Are you ashamed of yourself that you could have had Marcos, uh, but you wanted maybe a little bit? All right, yeah. that's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. He really. You dug into that like you haven't yeah. eaten in years. <laughs> Jeez, oh man, that's good. Yeah, you want one? Let, let some stranger give you a piece of pizza in your car. There's nothing unhealthy about that. Thank you. Enjoy it. Citizen, stop eating that lunch. And here, have this Marco's pizza. No offense, but it's going to be better than what you got. All right, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Marco's pizza. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Oh, what are you guys eating? What do you got there? I have a wedge. A wedge? You just got a wedge. What are you eating? Some kind of chopped salad. Well, those both look good and everything, but not very satisfying, like Marco's Pizza does. <laughs> Come on, Richie Rich. This is better.